Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge in React development. Our viewer is grappling with how to avoid using set state inside the render method when the state depends on the render. They have a grid that displays cards of varying heights, and they're using a library called React Height to manage these heights. But they're running into issues with state updates and rendering cycles. Let's dive into their question and explore the best practices for handling this situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To avoid calling set state inside the render method, we can utilize the component lifecycle methods more effectively. Instead of updating state in render, we can handle height updates in the onHeightReady callback. Let's modify the code. We will move the height calculation logic to a separate method and call it in component did update. This way, we ensure that state updates happen outside of render. Now regarding the clear interval issue, it's important to ensure that the interval is cleared correctly. We can store the interval ID in the component's instance variable to manage it properly. Finally, let's address the infinite loop concern. Since set state triggers a re-render, we should only call it when necessary, such as when all heights are ready. This prevents unnecessary updates. In summary, by refactoring our code to use lifecycle methods effectively, managing intervals properly, and ensuring state updates are conditional, we can avoid pitfalls in our React component. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To avoid calling set state inside render when your state depends on it, check if the new value is different from the previous one before updating. This prevents unnecessary updates. If your state changes on every render, the issue will persist. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To avoid using set state inside render, assign your event handler outside of the render function. Remember to bind the event handler in the constructor. Then you can call that handler within your render function. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.